all right we have set up our database we have created our first table using a migration now it's time to create controllers and models if you are familiar with MVC architecture models are the ones that interact with the database tables where we put our relations where we define which columns needs to be filled stuff like that and in controllers we define application logic in our scenario in our application we don't have a section called user interface because we just present data in a simple format which is JSON we do that in controller itself so there is no views all right I'm gonna create our first controller so we create a table called products and we need to have a controller to manage products so I'm gonna name it products controller okay I'm gonna type PHP artisan make controller and I'm gonna name it product controller great and I'm gonna add an attribute called resource this will automatically regenerate all the CRUD functions so I don't have to write it manually all right hit enter so there we have it in controllers we have product controller let's open it up and there we have index method create method store method show method edit method update and destroy method well let me explain what these method supposed to be doing index method is the one that is responsible for getting fetching all the products create method we are not using it in our application you will see why and store method is the one we use to save our products and show method is responsible for fetching single product we don't use uh, edit method as well we use update method to update product update a single product and finally we use destroy to delete product We have set up a controller which is product controller and we need to have routes to access these methods okay now it's time to create some routes in the project folder there's a subfolder called routes in that folder there are four available files open api.php so this is where you define all the API routes the controller I created was a resource controller which means all the methods can be accessed using one resource route so I'm going to type route resource So the products are available through this URL segment. Sorry, products. Oops, I need to define which controller I'm going to access. Should be product controller. 
that's it okay we just wrote our first route now it's time to make sure that route points to correct methods I'm going to echo out some data to make sure these endpoints are actually working in the index method which is responsible for fetching all the products I'm going to echo out all products and in the show method which is for displaying single product I'm going to echo out single product great hit save now I'm going to test this in Postman if you don't have Postman just go to Google and download Postman it is really helpful when you are developing an API I have already installed in my machine I'm going to open a new tab and paste my application URL then API prefix then product I'm going to hit enter oops oh it should be products great I get the text I just echoed out which means the endpoint is actually working as intended and I'm going to add an ID which is like displaying a single product now I'm going to hit enter it works as intended displays a single product great this means the route I, the route I have defined here is working as intended and these methods are also working okay in the next tutorial we will add models to work with some actual data